Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on some stuff that's going to be coming to AQ3D. As you guys know, we got some new bows in the game and these things just look amazing. How many of them have you gotten so far? Let me know in the comments below. Now some of you are wondering why the bows had such low stats in my last video compared to the item I had equipped. I will get into that in a moment. Now we do have some more bows that will be coming including the Ashfall bow and the Death's Lair bow. As you guys would have seen in a previous video they are also working on the new fishing trade skill. This is going to be something really amazing. They've also started working on guilds. Now I know this is something that a lot of you guys have really been wanting. Guild is a big part of MMO games so it makes sense of course to have it in this one and it definitely is on the way. And now for some big game changing news. Now this is something that I was stoked about. Now I know there are some people out there who are not super stoked about it because they think it's just going to be too much of a grind but honestly this is just side content nothing you need to do but for people like me this is something that is right up my alley as you know right now the class rank is maxed out at 10. this is soon to change as the class ranks are going to be bumped up to 99. Now this might seem like an insane jump and you'd be right but along the way while you're grinding to 99 you'll be unlocking new titles and the elite armor sets. Now I'm going to be showing you some of these. I already did show some in a previous video. In fact I'll put a link to that video in the top right corner. You can go check that one out. I will be showing you a couple more elite armor sets in this video in just a moment but I did want to stress that the class ranking up to 99 is side content. This is not something you're not going to be getting more powerful. Your class isn't going to be getting more powerful the higher you get it. But this is going to be nice because while you're farming for gold or while you're farming for a new item, your class will continue to rank up. This is going to be giving you the sense of progression. And this is what the game greatly lacks, especially once you hit rank 10 in all of your classes and rank 30 on yourself, there is nothing left to rank. And so you lose this sense of progression. Now that the classes are going to be bumped up to 99, you're going to continuously have this sense of progression. This is going to be greatly improving the game overall and it's going to be keeping people around a lot longer. And last little thing I just wanted to mention was the Midtro. Now this is going to be a new area that comes out right after Vayne throws you. So instead of landing in Battleon, you're going to be brought out to this new area. So this kind of fits in between the intro and Battleon. Let's check out some of the stuff that's going to be coming. This is one of the new bows that are going to be coming and I am completely jaw dropped. I really didn't think the bows were going to be getting better. I thought they were going to be on par with the bows that were just released, but this proved me wrong. And here is the upgraded Dragon Slayer and that is looking excellent. Look at the little runes on his shoulders and his chest and the boots. I mean that that looks really good. The weapon looks awesome. Now I am not 100% sure on when you are going to be unlocking the armor sets but if I were to guess I would think that at certain ranks you will be unlocking a piece. So perhaps at rank 20 you unlock the boots, at rank 30 you unlock the belt, at rank 40 you unlock the gloves, so on and so forth. I also wanted to show you this. Now this is not part of the upgraded armor set. If I were to guess I would say this is going to be coming with the sand sea area. But I really love those shoulders and that weapon. It looks epic. This is another picture. Now I'm not actually sure if these things are real or not. If they are real that is awesome and hilarious but if it's not real well then it's just hilarious. I'm not sure if I showed you this in my last update video or not but anyways this is going to be for the upgraded necromancer and that is one awesome looking scythe. In this picture here on the right side you can see the upgraded ranger set. Now on the left side is of course the current ranger set so you can see the difference between the two of them. That bow looks epic and that armor set looks amazing. As you can see from this picture the upgraded ranger set also comes with a little knife on his belt. That's pretty cool. Just to give you another look at the upgraded ranger set this is what it's going to look like. This is of course the male and the female comparison. 
I can't remember if I showed you the Rogue upgrade set in the last update video, so just in case I didn't, this is the Rogue upgrade set right here. Really nice. This is the Warrior upgrade set, and that is a massive difference. Absolutely crazy looking. I love those shoulders. And the last sneak peek for today is the Berserker set. This is the Berserker upgrade set. That is a complete 180 from what it currently looks like. That is definitely a massive upgrade. As I said earlier, some of you guys were wondering why when I was looking at the Ranger stuff, the Ranger bows in my other video, it was showing the stats being so much lower than the current bow I had equipped. I was actually not wearing any bow at all. What I was using was the Bracken Lance and Shield. Now this is a melee weapon. This is something that is really cool is if I'm switching, I'm going to use right now. I'm just going to show right here. I have no gun equipped as you can see. So I'm going to be switching over to my Alpha Pirate and upon equipping it, you're going to see I have the guns equipped. Now I did not have the guns equipped. They auto equipped. So even though the guns have stats, even though the bows have stats, you don't need to equip the bow as your primary. Now, a good example is I can equip my gun as the primary. So now the gun is the one that's reading the stats. So if I can go to any of my other things, well, okay, well, this one here is cosmetic because it says cosmetic only. This one here, I could put this on or I could put this and anything that doesn't say it's cosmetic, as long as it doesn't say cosmetic in the name, you'll be able to equip it as your primary. So just because you're running Ranger, don't feel you have to equip your bow as your primary weapon. You can equip your best weapon that has your stats. So in most cases, it's going to be a melee. Just put your bow on as cosmetic. Also, another thing that I'm actually not super happy about is the fact that you can't really put capes on when you're running with your ranger class. This has actually turned a lot of people off because the problem was without the cape, this used to float. This was actually floating in the air and you could put your cape on and this would be floating above the cape. So of course it would look fine. But the minute you had no cape on or a different type of back, it would look really different, really odd. So they put it close up behind the back like this. Now, unfortunately, it is clipping with most large shoulders and this also causes a problem. And if you put on a cape, it really clips really badly. So this is now an issue. Hopefully they'll come up with some kind of compromise. Now, what they could do is make it so that this thing is actually, they could have two different versions of the bow, one with the arrows and one without or possibly make it so that these are toggable. You could click on them and make it disappear, click on it again to make it reappear or something like that. In fact, another option is to put it into the user interface or something where you could actually have it showing your quiver and disable that to make it disappear. So what do you guys think of what's coming? Are you as stoked as I am? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We'll see you in the Why next do one. you always end your videos the same way? Ugh, gold Robo, you ruined the ending. Mm -hmm.